G'day Marshmallows and welcome back to the Coco Couch. We are watching Friends episodes 19 and 20. Once again, I'm very excited to get into it. I am loving this show. I'm loving the characters. It's just such a relief to get away from just the busyness of everyday life and just sit down and watch a couple episodes of Friends. It's so simple, it's easy to watch, and I'm having a great time. So without further ado, let's jump into it. We have Earl Grey, English breakfast, cinnamon stick, chamomile, and, uh, oh wait, there's one more. Lemon soother. <laughs> You're not the guy that asked for the tea, are you? Oh, <laughs> you gotta get that right to begin with. <laughs> oh, cool. Free sample of coffee. Oh, good, because where else would we get any? Oh, <laughs> right. <laughs> Country Club newsletter. Oh my god, it's Barry and Mindy. Barry who you almost. Barry who I almost. And Mindy, your maid. Mindy, my maid. Oh no. Wow, she is pretty. Don't say that. Lucky. Yeah. Could have had a friend like you. <laughs> Bring me the rice. Come on. Bring me the rice. Come on. Come on. Give me the rice. Aww. He's finally mastered the difference between bring me the and pee in the. <laughs> Bring me the and. Rach? This is so stupid. I should be happy for them. I'm happy for them. Really? No. <laughs> oh, I guess it would be different if I were with somebody. Yeah, of course. <laughs> what happened to, uh, forget relationships. I'm done with men. The penis embargo. Yeah. <laughs> I guess it's, it's not about no guys. It's about the right guy, you know? Well, yeah. It was it was safe and it was easy, but there was no heat. Mm. Paolo, that's all there was. This uh -huh. raw animal, sexual. Right, right. I, I... Yeah, yeah. I think I can never have both. Looks like your best friend. And also, oh. can make your toes curl. Yeah. Oh man. Someone who you wouldn't think could <laughs> curl your toes might just be the one who. Uh, who... Hi. Dang it. Gets interrupted. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> Suck fest. Total chick flick. <laughs> oh, what? I'm sorry it wasn't one of those movies with like guns and bombs and like buses going really fast. Hmm. I don't need violence to enjoy a movie, so long as there's a little nudity. Wow. There was nudity. I meant female nudity. I don't need to see Lou Grant frolicking. <laughs> Hugh, Hugh Grant. <laughs> wow. All right, I've got to go. Come on, Marcel. Come on. Yeah, we're gonna go take a bath. Yes, we are, aren't we? Oh, no. They're still just friends, right? Don't know. <laughs> and I will see you tomorrow. Hang on. Does Aunt Monica get a say in this? Please, Aunt Monica, please. <laughs> That's pretty cute. Do you think if things were gonna happen with Rachel, they would have happened already? She said she's looking for a relationship with someone exactly like me. You really said that? I added the exactly like me. Yeah. Someone is gonna be there tonight. Tonight? Tonight? It's just gonna be the two of us. She spent all day taking care of my oh, monkey. Oh, true. I can't remember the last time I got a girl to take care of my monkey. <laughs> Over there and uh, try to woo her. Hey, you know what you should do? You should take her back to the 1890s when that phrase was last used. <laughs> now the one in the feather boa, that's Dr. Francis. Now she used to be a man. And that, what, what, Marcel, are you playing with Monica's shoes? Whoa. Oh, no. Did you poo in the shoe? No. That's so gross. Imagine putting that on. Sorry, Barry. Little engagement gift. Yeah. Sure you didn't register for that. Oh, no. Who died? Who died? Come on, roll him over. Oh. You know, it wasn't Dexter. Right, Marcel? Because Marcel. Oh, no. How could you lose him? For watching TV and then he pooped in Monica's shoe. He pooped in my shoe. Which one? I don't know. The left one. <laughs> Which ones? Those little clunky Amish things you think go with everything. Oops. Why is the air in here so negative? <laughs> Rachel lost Marcel. They pooped in my shoe. Which one? Those cute little black ones I wear all the time. No, which one? Yes, I the knew right it. Or left. <laughs> You guys take the first and second floor, Phoebe and I'll take third and fourth. Oh, what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? You stay here and just wait by the phone and wait for Ross to kill you. <laughs> yeah, how's Ross gonna behave here since he likes Rachel? Oh boy. What do you want? <laughs> Our friend lost a monkey. Have you seen it? I left a Belgian waffle out here. Why would you leave your Belgian waffle in the hall? I wasn't ready for it. <laughs> <laughs> Poochin monkey with a white face, Russian dressing. Oh. Hey, how did, uh, how did it go today? Oh. oh, no. Hey, is that wine? Yeah. You want some? Oh, I would love some. <gasps> Let's 
Proper mad too. I can't believe this. All I asked you to do was keep him in the apartment. Oh, I know. I'm sorry. No, but I guess it's partially my fault. You know, I shouldn't have asked you to start off with a monkey. I should have started you off with like a pen or a pencil. Oh, dude. I'm doing everything that I can. I oh. Animal control. Oh, see, I've even got animal control. Called animal control. Oh no, he's not supposed to have it. Marcel is an illegal exotic <laughs> animal. Yeah. Oh, I'm not allowed to have him in the city. They'll take him away from me. Well, now see, you never, <laughs> ever, ever told us that. <laughs> the way the guy grabs him. I didn't expect you were going to invite them to the apartment. Somebody called about a monkey? That was a complete misunderstanding. Oh. Thought we had a monkey, but we didn't. Turned out it was a hat. Cat. Cat. <laughs> we checked the third and fourth floor. No one's seen Marcel. My uncle, Marcel. Oh, is that who the monkey's named after? No. <laughs> Are you aware that possession of an illegal exotic punishable by up to two years in prison and confiscation of the animal? What? You'd put that poor little creature in jail. <laughs> you remember how we talked about saying things quietly to yourself first? There isn't always time. <laughs> I I'm Monica Geller. Oh my God, you are. And you're Rachel Green. Huh, what? Louisa Giannetti. Lincoln High. I sat behind you guys in, in homeroom. Oh, you're kidding. <laughs> you have no idea who I am. Oh no. Maybe that's because you spent four years ignoring me. Oh. I mean, would it have been so hard to say, morning, Louisa? Oh no. She's bitter. Oh, I'm, I'm so sorry. It's not so much you. You were fat. You had your own problems. <laughs> oh my gosh. But you, what a bitch. Damn. Do you think you'd just help us out here on that monkey thing? For old time's sake, go, Bobcats. If I find that monkey. He's mine. Oh boy. Dun dun dun. <laughs> yeah. Now oh, that would have been me too. Ah, <laughs> uh, Marcel. 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 Hi. Can I help you? Uh. <laughs> what? We're kind of having an emergency, and we were looking for something. A monkey. Have you seen any? This is so random. No, I haven't seen a monkey. Do you know anything about fixing radiators? Sure, sure. Did you, uh, did you try turning the knob back the other way? Of course. Oh, then, no. Ah, Joey. Taste this daiquiri. There's too much rum in here. Just a second. <laughs> Hope you find your monkey. No, no, no. Wait, wait. We may not know anything about radiators, per se. We do have a certain amount of expertise in the heating and cooling milieu. <laughs> oh, boy. Aren't we kind of in the middle of something here? But these women are very hot, and they need our help. Ah. Huh? We can't, all right? We're sorry. No idea how sorry, but we promised we'd find this monkey. If you see him, he's about yay high and answers to the name Marcel. So if we could get some pictures of you, you'd really be helping us out. Wait, what? Oh, gross. I was like, yes, Joey, good on you, mate, for moving on, but... From now on, you don't get to talk to other people. <laughs> yeah. Marcel! Marcel! Oh my god, what? Something just brushed up against my right leg. Oh, it's okay, it was just my left leg. Oh my... Oh, oh, damn. Just a small tranquilizer. Oh, Phoebe, what are you doing? <laughs> oh my gosh. Are you okay? Uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> what a hero. Oh, hello? This is ridiculous. We've been all over the neighborhood. He's gone. Ross, you don't know that. Oh, come on. <laughs> now I have a broken foot. Yeah, good job. You want me to break my foot too? That... Okay, here, I'm gonna break my foot right now. There. Yeah, you happy now? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't miss Marcel anymore. Gosh, dude. It's not like I did this on purpose. No, 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 no. This is just vintage Rachel. Dude. 
Don't make it personal. Rachel Land doing your Rachel thing. Oblivious to people's monkeys, people's feelings. Ooh. And Ross. What? 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 Hey, Ooh. banana man. <laughs> the banana man. Oh, this is so intense. One side of my butt is totally asleep, and the other side has no idea. <laughs> My gosh. Hi, did you order some bananas? What about it? Give me my monkey back. I don't have a monkey. Then what's with all the bananas? Potassium. <laughs> oh, is he actually in there? Where is he? Marcel? <gasps> <gasps> oh no. <laughs> what have you done to him? That's my monkey. That's Patty. Patty the monkey. <laughs> come here, Marcel. Come on. Come here, Patty. Come here, Marcel. Come here, Patty. Here, monkey. Here, monkey. <gasps> no. Right, I want my monkey. No. Come on, Louisa. Sorry, prom queen. You had to be a bitch in high school. You couldn't have been fat. Oh my gosh. Okay, in high school, I was the prom queen and I was the homecoming queen, and the you were also there. If you take this monkey, I will lose one of the most important people in my life. Please do not punish him. Oh. You have a chance to be the bigger person here. Take it. No. <laughs> Well, then how about I call your supervisor and tell her that you shot my friend in the ass with a dart. Oh, there you go. Apologize. I'm sorry I was so hard on you before. Oh, Ross, come on. No, no, it was my fault. No, no, yeah, but you were the one who got him back. Oh, you were great. Uh, hey, we uh, still have that uh, bottle of wine. You in the mood for uh, something great? Great. That would be good. What are you oh. doing? Oh. <laughs> The mood lighting. The neighbors must be vacuuming. <laughs> what are the chances? I was thinking about uh, hmm? how mad we got at each other. Ooh. And um, I was thinking maybe it was partially because of how we... Uh, how... Rachel! Damn it! I can't do it. I can't marry Mindy. I think I'm still in love with you. Oh, God. We have got to start locking that door! <laughs> yeah, I say. Poor Ross. He doesn't get a chance. Oh, 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 my butt cheek is waking up. Oh, <laughs> that'd be such a random thing to hear. All right, straight on to episode 20. Guys, you gotta come see this. There's some creep out there with a telescope. Wait, what? I can't believe it. He's looking right at us. That is so sick. I feel violated and not in a good way. Oh, gosh. Oh, 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 you guys, look! Ugly naked guy got gravity boots! Please. Yeah, exactly! Exactly! <laughs> that was good. That was a good joke. <laughs> How many times are they gonna notice ugly naked guy? School children will study it as one of the greatest first dates of all time. <laughs> what? We can totally be ourselves. Have you called her yet? Let her know I like her. What are you, insane? Oh, gosh. That tactic. It's the next day. How needy do I want to seem, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. let her dangle. Yeah. Yeah. What? I can't believe my parents are actually pressuring me to find one of you people. <laughs> Just do it. Call her. Stop being so testosterone-y. Yeah, your female friends are literally telling you to do that. I got her machine. Her answering machine? No. Interestingly enough, her leaf blower picked up. Why didn't you say anything? Last time I left a spontaneous message, I ended up using the phrase, yes, indeedio. It's Rachel and Barry. No, 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 don't, don't everybody look at what? Oh, they're just talking. Does he look upset? No. No, actually, he's smiling. Oh, my God. Don't do that. What? 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 That man across the street just kicked that pigeon. Oh, my gosh, baby. <laughs> How'd it go? You know, it was uh, actually really great. I had that chicken, you know, where you poke it and all the butter squirts out. Yeah, but how did things go? But he got me a little bottle of Chanel. Nice. Was that before or after you told him to stop calling and to generally leave you alone? He never actually got to that. Yikes. It was comfortable and it was familiar. Oh, that's, that's nice twice. I mean, isn't this the same Barry who you left at the altar? Duh, where have you been? <laughs> we had fun. Was there anything wrong with that? Yes. <laughs> Why? I have my reasons. <laughs> How about the fact that he's engaged to another woman? Yeah. All right, all right, all right, all right. I know it's stupid. I'll go see him this afternoon, and I will just put an end to it. Wow. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. And I mean, it was never like that. No, it wasn't. Why? He's engaged. <sighs> that makes me so frustrated. I'm sorry. Give me a call when you get a chance. Oh, God. That's what you've been working on for the past two hours? Hey, I've been honing it. Oh, uh, I want her to think I might be in a restaurant. Look, look, he's doing it again, the guy with the telescope. Oh, my goodness. Stop 
looking in here. Great. Now he's waving back. We got to do something about that guy. I caught him looking into our apartment. It creeps me out. I feel like I can't do stuff. What kind of stuff? <laughs> Will you grow up? I'm not talking about sexy stuff. When I'm cooking naked. <laughs> yeah, the simple stuff. Yeah, toast, oatmeal, nothing that spatters. What are you looking at me for? I didn't know that. <laughs> What's the matter? I just, Barry, this was not good. No, it was. <laughs> what about Mindy? Oh, wait, way better than Mindy. Oh my goodness, that's so bad. Look, you want? I'll just, I'll just break it off with her. No, 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 no. Not, I mean, not for me. Doctor Farber, Bobby Rush is here for his adjustment. Uh, thanks, Bernice. I had a bra. Oh no. <laughs> oh, goodness. Hey, Doctor Farber. Oh, this kid again. <laughs> I think we're starting to see some real progress here. <laughs> yeah, he knows. I'm 12. I'm not stupid. <laughs> he was also there last time. Yes, it's working. Mm. Why isn't she calling me back? Call her machine. And if she has a lot of beeps, that means she probably didn't get her messages yet. You don't think that makes me seem a little desperate? Dude. How many beeps? She answered. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. This is where you'd use that hello word we talked about. She obviously got my message and is choosing not to call me. Now I'm needy and snubbed. God, I miss just being needy. <laughs> hey, hey, how do you take it? Pretty well, actually. Oh, no. How come you have dental floss in your hair? <laughs> oh, do I? Uh-huh. We ended up having sex in his chair. You had sex in his chair? Oh, poor Ross, man. I said that a little too loudly, didn't I? Just a little bit. You, you had what? Sex in his chair. <laughs> ah, baby. <laughs> what were you thinking? I don't know. I mean, we still care about each other. It's like you and Carol. No, no, no. <laughs> Nothing like me and Carol. If she said to you, Ross, I want you on this couch right now, what would you say? If it helps, I could slide over. Yeah. It's apples and oranges, it's orthodontists and lesbians. I gotta go. Where are you going? I just have to go. I have a jam-packed schedule. It's, oh. Yeah, the way he said jam-packed in the face. Hello? Mindy? Uh-oh. Congratulations, that is so great. <laughs> well, I'm working tomorrow, but if you want, you can, you can, you can come by. <laughs> great. Fun game. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Oh, God. Oh god, oh god, oh god. So how's Mindy? Yeah. Oh, she wants to see me tomorrow. Oh, she sounded really weird. I gotta call Barry. Oh gosh. Hi, it's me. I just <laughs> Mindy! Hi! No, oh, no, I figured that's where you'd be. Oh, that looks really, really bad. <laughs> Hell is filled with people like you. <laughs> the peeper's back. Get down. Get down? And boogie. <laughs> I haven't heard from her in seven months. What else is it about? We went to camp together. She taught me how to kiss. Yeah? Uh, what? I feel so... Naughty. Gee. Now, Rach, when she taught you to kiss, you're at camp. Were you wearing any kind of little uniform or... Gosh. Is she gonna ask her to be a maid of honor or something? Okay, I'm gonna go to the bathroom. Will you watch my phone? Why don't you just call her? I left the message. I have some pride. Do you? No. Yeah, exactly. Danielle, hi. Chandler. I'm fine. I don't know if you tried to call me, idiot that I am. I accidentally shut off my phone. Oh. <clears throat> that's that's fine. That's great. Okay. She's on the other line. She's gonna call me back. She's on the other line. She's gonna call me back. She's so Do you have to pee? That's why I'm dancing. <laughs> Mindy. Hey, you. What? What's up? We should really be sitting for this. <laughs> uh... <sighs> I know things have been weird lately. You're like my oldest friend in the world, except for maybe Lori Schaefer, who I don't talk to anymore. She's all bitter now that she lost the weight and is out. She doesn't have a pretty face. Uh, <laughs> what? Okay, I'm just gonna ask you this once. Will you be my maid of honor? I knew it, I knew it. <laughs> of course. Oh, that's so great. Ah! Oh, yeah. Is that all you wanted to ask me? That's all. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> what? Huh? What? That's, that's not all. Oh, goodness. I think Barry is seeing someone in the city. Oh. oh what, what would make you think that? Last night, he came home smelling like Chanel. <gasps> oh. Really? When Barry and I first got engaged, he went through a whole weird thing, too. See, that's what I was afraid of. When Barry was engaged to you, he and I had our little thing on the side. Oh, no. When he proposed to me, everyone said, don't do it. He's just going to do to you what he did to Rachel. Now I feel so stupid.
This guy's awful. Mm. Oh, Mindy. Oh, you are so stupid. Mm. Oh, we are both so stupid. Smell familiar? Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, no, me. I am so sorry. I am sorry. I'm so Wait, what? <laughs> That's cute, though, just like that. <laughs> oh, Joey. <laughs> no. <laughs> you sicko, get out of there. Hey, you know our phone's not working? What? I tried to call you from the coffee shop. There was no answer. I turned it off. Mother of God, I turned it off. Oh, gosh. I got the peeper's name. Can I use the phone? <laughs> <laughs> Heating device. Radiator. Five letters. Verdader. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is. Sydney's a woman. So she's a woman. So what? So what? And I know all about you and your little telescope. Yeah, I can see you right now. If I want to walk around my apartment in my underwear, I shouldn't have to feel like... Thank you. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> That's not really the point. The, uh, not mostly free weights, but occasionally... You Joey! Know, Dude. She said you look very pretty the other day in the green dress. The green dress? Oh, she's giving tips now. Yeah, she said you look like Ingrid Bergman that day. <laughs> no! <laughs> Wow, the tables have turned. Hey. Hey. You got a second? I do not like you. Hello, sweetheart. Oh, what you what you guys doing here? We are here to break up with you. Hell yeah. Both of you? Slap him. We think you're a horrible human being and bad things should happen to you. But I am so sorry. I'm an idiot. I, I couldn't help myself. Ew. Because I love you so much. Ew. <laughs> Which one of us are you talking to there, Bear? Mindy. It was always Mindy. Even when we were having sex in that chair? Whatever I was doing, I was always thinking of you. Don't even think about it. During that second time, you couldn't have picked her out of a lineup. You did it twice? Gee. Just give, give, me, give me another chance, okay? We'll, we'll, no. we'll, we'll go back to a Uber. You had two chances. We've got a bit of an emergency here. Jason Castellano's choking on his retainer. Oh, I'll be right there, Bernice. Please don't go anywhere. I'll, I'll, I'll be right back. Okay, and we'll be here. Did you see how he was sweating when he walked out of here? I'm pretty sure I'm still gonna marry him. No. The guy is the devil. He is Satan in a smock. No, he's not perfect. <laughs> I still really want to be Mrs. Dr. Barry Farber. God. DDS. Oh, God. I hope you'll still be my maid of honor. And I hope Barry doesn't kill you and eat you in Aruba. How can you do that? Your best friend just had sex with him. Well, ever since I ran out on Barry at the wedding, I wondered whether I made the right choice. Now I know. <laughs> oh. Big day. <laughs> Is this guy, like, horny all the time? <laughs> Gee, mate. Chandler? Danielle, hi. Oh. What are you doing here? I've been calling you, but it turns out I had your number wrong. I finally got the right one from information. There was no answer. Thought I'd just come down here and make sure you were okay. Uh, I'm, I'm okay. Maybe we could get together later? That sounds good. Woohoo! Nice. I don't know. What? Oh, well, she seems very nice and everything, but the thing about her coming all the way down here to see if I was okay, I'm, how needy is that? <laughs> oh, what the hell, dude? He's got some issues. Mate, a lot happened in those two episodes. Like, far out. The first one, we got the whole monkey disappearing while Ross was trying to basically just have a date with Rachel. And just all these things just kept interrupting it. I mean, the poor guy was just trying to be a little bit vulnerable with her, like, for, for once and... It just keeps getting sabotaged and then for rachel's old like you know boyfriend to come back and cause all this trouble like oh and he's absolutely disgusting the fact that he slept with both um her best friend and rachel at different times when that when he was engaged is just awful and oh, it's so sad too that um her best friend is like willing to go through with it um you know at least rachel has better standards than than her you know at least she's like no this is very wrong um i'm not gonna settle for a guy that's like that so um that's good i just it's frustrating because you know that ross is a better dude um he's just not trying hard enough to to tell her how he feels which is just it's so annoying but it's just like that's who he is right and that's who he's gonna be probably for a while which is it is what it is. I don't know. It's it's hard, right? You don't want to talk too much about their <laughs> their decision making because everyone's standards and what they um their lifestyles are different, right? But for me, I'm just like, 
goodness me like how can you just go and have a fling like that out of nowhere and it was a bit disheartening um to see that happen but um i'm hoping that if ross and rachel get together it's just going to be that much more um satisfying because you're like finally they both found happiness and someone who actually loves them um so we'll see how that goes i really enjoyed those two episodes a lot of drama um <laughs> a lot of jokes as per usual I just had a really good time this time. Please like and subscribe and I will see you all next time. Stay cozy.